just like that, term two has come to a close. We've had a fabulous 10 weeks and I'm so proud of all the girls and their achievements in the classroom and then within their extracurricular activities. So this term has proved to be another wonderful 10 weeks with our remarkable women. Academically, we've achieved so much, including second and third place for our Da Vinci Decathlon team. We celebrated our remarkable assembly where we honoured those girls who achieved awards in a variety of aspects of their life within the college. We celebrated Japanese Week, and of course we had our parent-teacher-student conferences. We've also had a great term with sport, with our girls participating, the highest amount of participation for our CASA sports. And of course, we absolutely had a ball at our cross country and our athletics carnival. Mary McKillop challenged us to never see a need without doing something about it. And our social justice program certainly allowed the girls to answer this call. Our Year 12 girls participated in the Darkness to Daylight Advocacy and Fundraising Challenge for those uh, women who are affected by domestic violence. We also had nearly 200 students participate in the Winter Sleepout. And then of course our Anzac Day Services and our Day for Dolly Advocacy Day. Our Music Soiree was able to go ahead, which was a fabulous night. We also celebrated our Year 9 camp, our McCormack Day, our Big Sister, Little Sister movie night. And we are also very proud of the staff that were nominated as part of the BCE Excellence Awards. Our school improvement team were nominated, as well as Carly Richardson for leadership. And we wish her all the best as she has made the final. Carly was also nominated for the QCE Spirit of Catholic Education Award for Leadership as well. We've had an absolutely fabulous term and I am so looking forward to seeing everyone coming back in Term 3. Have a great holiday.